put a, a, the chef special right here. <laughs> All right, don't worry. I'm here. Hey. We're getting it together. The goal was. But then, at the end of the charter. You're talking to the park ranger. Okay, Sherry, so we popped out of the woods on this trail. Yeah. So what's the deal here? Where are we at? Hey guys, in a room with Chuck and Sherry. We are at, uh, where the heck are we at? I'm so glad you're gonna try to say this because I don't know how to pronounce it. Hold on, I gotta think of where we're at. What's it called? Mount. Oh, Mount Gilead. Okay. Don't worry about it. It was a long night and this is actually Saturday. The next day. But don't worry about that, okay? Uh, We're mixing it up a little bit. We are. We're on our way to a hike, but we are here. And we've been here. What? Where are we at, though? Like, what city? I said, I said Mount Gilead. That's the state park. State park, but yeah. where's it at located? Is it on Mount Gilead, Ohio? Yeah. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> and you guys know that I usually don't know where we're at, but that's okay. All right? But we're here. We're with some friends. Yes. And we're having fun. Lots of fun so far. Yep. Too much fun. <laughs> so stay tuned. He's got a full audience over here. This is like an ongoing thing right now. Probably the past feels like 10 minutes trying to park this thing. But I think he's going to get it this time. But look at those trees over there. Isn't that pretty? Okay, you got this. All right, I better go help. All right, this is site 50. We just met our neighbors, Mike and Sherry, and they're site 49 over there. Um, very small campground. I wanna say there's 60 sites here. Um, I was actually looking forward to having a lot of trees we actually have one tree. That's it. So I guess there was a couple over there that fell down. There was a recent tornado. Um, they fell down. Um, thankfully, nobody was injured. But if you turn around here, there's where all the trees are. <laughs> so at least we have a view of the trees. Very pretty. Very small campground, but quaint. So, site 50, it's not bad. I mean, it's close to your neighbors, but we're lucky enough to have some nice neighbors over there. I'm sure we'll have some nice neighbors over here because I don't think we've ever been camping and we've never had any bad neighbors, so it's all good. There it is. Nobody else seems to worry about it. You trying to bite already? I am. He wow. cut it. Uh, the chef special right here. <laughs> I don't worry, I've been picking. I How is sure it? Okay. It's great, and it's so nice not to have to cook. Well, that's this why I figured nice. it. This is a little strange not cooking. Right, here we are. All what right. we got, Barry? So we got baby back ribs. This first row is my corned beef rub recipe. All right. With sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. The next one is Flushman's rub. I don't know what it consists of with their glaze with pineapple juice and stuff. Okay. And then this one is just Barbecue Brothers Rub, just Memphis style. Okay. No and juice. extra barbecue sauce. Yeah, if you want extra it. barbecue uh, sauce. <laughs> coleslaw, there's zucchini. This corn here is the butter, salt and pepper, and this is juiced with water. Nice. So I inject water and this is the butter. With and the that looks great too. Mm. Nice so job, guys. Like, we are about to feast like, and we didn't have to do anything. Yeah, no, yes, that's right. <laughs> there you go. We about to dig in. Let's do it. Well, it's after nine. I know Barry's up. 
Not sure about the Coleman's. I'm sure Cheryl's up as well. And the campground is pretty quiet. It's not bad campground. It's very small, pretty tight. But my wife is still sleeping. Now I have to go make coffee and breakfast as usual. Let's see if she's appreciative of me today. What is that about? <laughs> what? What is that about? Nothing. We were Elvis. He seen a nice guy uh -huh. walking down the road. Oh, and a, what I mean, but you're talking to the park ranger. Yeah. Oh. He was. He admired our camper, and then we started talking about a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We found out like we're like brothers from another mother. How's that? Because he don't like hiking. He loves fishing. He loves kayak fishing, uh -huh. and more impor importantly, per yeah, he loves bourbon. Oh, okay. I mean, there was you like didn't invite whole, him over tonight. I know, it was a whole connection, <laughs> you know? So, don't be afraid of the park rangers. Those are nice guys. Yeah. He talked to him for about 45 minutes, I think, this morning. Yeah, he stopped talking to me. I know. He's All right. a nice guy, though. Guess he's bringing us a cup of coffee, though. Bear up, bro? Yeah. No, I made coffee. I know, I told, I told him that. But I, and I, said, I told the people that I was making coffee because I said, Cher Bear's in their sleep like usual. Uh -huh. And I have to now make the coffee because she ain't no more coffee lady and the coffee guy <laughs> and the food guy and everything else. Oh, uh, I mean, you're just like, you. you know, <laughs> you're just an existence out okay. here. That's all you I are. I love you. You're like a gnat. Just wow, around. you're so mean. Now I know what uh, Richard was talking about. Mm -hmm. Richard was talking about. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man, Rich. So this is a pavilion they have here. What a nice indoor fireplace. Nice covered area by the playground. Huge fire ring right there. I think it's about four foot wide. Looks nice. It's a nice little park so far. And we are off to our fun hike. Can't you hear the excitement in my voice? But they're happy. Here's a pavilion area. Now, in our few years we've been camping, all we see these pavilion areas, but there's nothing that ever goes on there. Do you guys remember, Cheryl? Things that used to happen in the uh, the little area here? The yeah, the amphitheater. Yeah. Movies. They don't do that anymore. They did? Yeah. I don't ever. actually playing Harry and the Hendersons. Remember that old movie? From oh, yeah. I don't ever see these things up and running. Ever. Like later. Yeah. 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 There's no projector, but out of Tar Hollow, there's actually a box with yeah. fans, so it stayed out all the time. Maybe. Oh, okay. That little building. Oh, it's very, very good. That's the nature center, I believe. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Good for sure. Flowers. There you go. More pictures. This is butterfly area. So it looks like they got a little frisbee golf course going on here. Basketball hoop. And I don't know what the heck that thing is, that pen. Gaga ball? What is it? You pin some kids up in there and let them go crazy? Right. Gaga ball, he says. Whatever that is. All right, well, Sherry. What do you think about this, Sherry? Can't miss that sign. So according to this, we're going the right way. We actually have all trails maps that we downloaded. We're gonna try that out. Okay. And see what happens. Yep. And I, I'm not guiding this tour. I said I'm not guiding this tour. No. Looks like a nice little lake. It is, look, perfect kayaking lake. I think it's only 19 acres, which isn't huge, but it looks pretty freaking nice. Mind my uh, speech. I got a mouthful of sunflower seeds.
Is this a nap So do. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're already off course. Oops. I think we're supposed to be right there. I say we go up this one's got stairs. Okay. Hold on. All right, let's try it. <laughs> so there was a huge storm that came through here. Dead timber everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Yeah, this trail was actually closed for a long time. I think this is the first weekend they opened it. Mm -hmm. Tornado? Dangerous. Had to have been, right? Yeah. With this much damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, this whole trail is there's trees everywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a tornado. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, I almost fell. Is that funny? I almost fell. Huh? Yeah, we've been in a lot of woods. I've never seen storm damage like this in my life. Have you, Barry? This is incredible how much storm damage it really is. Right. I mean, it is everywhere. This entire trail has been cleared. So I can imagine how many trees went down in this thing. I think they said something about possibly a June storm, June or July storm that came through this area, tore everything up. Well, nature will preserve itself though. It'll be back. We're in them right now. Okay. So what we need to do is go that way. Okay. okay. It'll loop around. Okay. What's M? What it color matter. is it? I'm not guiding anything. Yellow? I'm just a uh, follower. To it. I'm a follower. <laughs> a follower? Follow the leader. Who's the leader? Penny? <laughs> Remember the last time Barry took us on a hike? <laughs> he I tried almost, to kill us. in the back oh, yeah. of the head with a stick. <laughs> yes. He has nightmares about that mm -hmm. hike. <laughs> That's what I said. Well, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her because she was really talking about. I thought you was gonna be keeping your mouth shut. And I said, Hey, you still can because there's still other trails we can do. Yeah, that's it. Did you get an alert? Says be center. So you're supposed to get an alert when you're off the trail. So there's the trail. And we're way over here. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Why did I not get an alert? Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, off route. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. There's the alert. No longer following your planned route. I better start listening to these notifications. <laughs> right. They probably told us that like a yeah. half hour ago. <laughs> doesn't help me out. <laughs> okay, Sherry. So we popped out of the woods on this trail. Yeah. So what's the deal here? Where are we at? Well, Cheryl has the map. Why are you walking around? I'm learning how to read the map. We're all right. We're, all right. We're, right. we're still on the trail. We're off the trail, guys. <laughs> just by a couple feet. Okay. Yeah. That red is just us. The square thing here? I assume the square thing here? Let me see. Is the building. Is that building right there? Okay, yeah, let's assume that, but we're off the trail, though. No, yeah, we gotta go that way. Trail. So what happened when we were at West Branch and you was talking all that nonsense? Oh, we're on the road walking. Check. We've, we've been parallel with the trail the whole time. So maybe it's not like just on top of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's still guiding us the right way. Why is it all this agreement? But when it's with me, okay. it's a whole nother story. I don't understand that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I see some type of marker here, guys. You know, I'll get us back on track. Oh, yeah. oh bingo. Yep. Bingo. All right, let's go. Watch your step, ma'am. And there was a, a cougar sighting. There was a cougar sighting this week as well on this bridal trail, wearing some pink sunglasses and a backpack. Yeah, the old lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, back from the hike. Wasn't Wait, bad. Three miles or something. It wasn't three miles or nothing. I think it was. It was like two and a half, like I told you. It was gonna be. Yeah, it was two and a half way back there. Anyway, nice hike. We survived. He survived. I survived. It's over. Now we're gonna go 
take a cold shower. This is hot. And then you get to see a, a bathroom tour next. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Right. This <laughs> here. So yes. There's a lock on the door. Curtain inside. So it doesn't get all wet over here. A little bench, some hooks. And it looks like they have the little push thing. So hopefully that works out okay. Yep, there it is. Okay, so it's actually a sensor right there. So as long as you're standing in front of that sensor, the water will remain on. Problem with that though, is you can't change the temperature. It was nice and warm, so I really didn't want that this time. I shouldn't be complaining about that, but I wanted a cold shower after that hike. So, but it is, that's the first one I've seen at a state park before, but it works out just fine. Well, who knew we was gonna wear blue? I think my shirt's better though. My shirt's better, I was gonna say. I forgot my cool sunglasses though. Huh? Watch your step, don't hit, don't trip right. now. So midday, we're on our way to Barrel's house to his camper. We're gonna have some smoked meats and cheese. Cheese and veggies. Yes, and, and some cold drinks. Sparkling water. Water. I'll show you guys something. We're here with the Coleman's and Barrel and Sherry. <laughs> I get harassed for feeding the wildlife. Mm -hmm. And look what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Yep, look what's happening here. Feeding the wildlife. And, that, and that's not a cougar. <laughs> there, not a there's a cougar right there. Mm -hmm. That's not a though. Oh, please, it's wildlife. Yeah. See, I, it's kind of weird. You know, with the hike, you give me problems and then you let Barry off when he leads us out into the road, off the track. That's and then now his trail. his wife, feeding the wildlife, mm -hmm. and you harass me. <laughs> yeah, okay. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I see it. a theme yeah. going on here. There may be that uh -huh. one take care of. <laughs> All right, I don't recommend this, it's hot. How, what do you think, it's 80 degrees out, at Not least? Yeah. And we're cooking over the it's fire, bad, mid day. I'm sweating already. You are so, tripping. Yeah, so we're making, uh, collard greens. Already got some onions in there. Throw some chicken stock in there. And we'll start adding some more stuff here in a second. What's that? I know. What'd she say? I was just talking about I need my jacket. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's hot over here. All right, what you got there? Some smoked turkey tails. I call them turkey butts or uh, turkey thighs, as Brian said. Yeah. Can't have enough of that. Now with the one more in there. What's it say on the package? All right, so just this whole measurement thing, we don't do that, remember? <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Probably like a tablespoon of pepper. Same thing with the garlic powder. And same thing with the salt. I'll let that go for a while. Let the turkey, while. let them, uh, I don't know, Okay. 40 minutes, let the turkey tails break down, get the juices infused in there, I'll add a little bit of water, and then we'll add the collard greens. All Chuck just told me that his shower 
had like a whole bathroom and sink and everything in it. So I'm not sure what shower he went into, but I picked the one that did not have that. So I'm actually gonna go do a tour. Hopefully, oh, I'm, a, I'm gonna like somebody's campsite. Hopefully I can do a tour in um, his shower house because he said it was much better. So that way you guys don't make the same mistake that I did. Yeah, this is definitely better than the one that I had. It has its own sink and toilet. So, I mean, there's so much more room to move it around in. Um, yeah, I mean, make sure you get this one. All right, so my unhealthy buffalo dip, okay? Usually I get Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce and I get the hot, but somehow- You messed the up. Meyer, I didn't, the Meyer lady got the mild. Oh, uh, yeah. She Our got grocery the mild. delivery lady. What's that? She usually does good, it's all good. She does. She does. I think Cheryl doesn't like spicy anyway, so- It's okay, it worked it's out. all right, it's all right. It works out. So, one jar of- Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> One stick of butter. And I'm only gonna use a half a pack of this dry Italian seasoning, which is great. This is the whole key. So when you make wings, this is what you need right here. Okay? Like I said before, thank me later when you do that. Okay. And we aren't making wings, we're gonna make uh, buffalo dipped cauliflower. So, there you go. I'm making a share bear. You're making a share bear. A share bear double. <laughs> this should be a fun night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't I have to make I them dolphin. It a, right. <laughs> berry, sherry, berry. Are you right? <laughs> berry, sherry, berry. Sherry, berry. Sherry, berry. I don't think I've ever seen anybody shake as cool as you do, Brian. Oh, I it's mean. Hard. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Appreciate you. Don't forget the blueberries are on the bottom. All right. That's not so the good thing about being the chefs, guys, is when you got a guy like Mr. Coleman doing bacon wrap peppers, we get to eat them first before the ladies. <laughs> Don't tell them we said that. Good stuff, Brian. All right, Brian is over here doing his thing. I'm not just the bartender, you know. No. I'm more than a pretty face. Look at this. This smells delicious. Mmm. I can't wait to have a bite of that. Go ahead, Brian, with your bad self. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. That's good stuff. There you go. Just got 10 more minutes. Mm. Thank you. Cheers. 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 So, there's our site. There's Roman. And across from us is this ambulance. Our friend Phil here gave us a little tour and he's gonna start this thing over, but look at this. He purchased this from Circleville? Circleville, Ohio. Yeah, and he did everything. And this is your third one you've done? Fourth. Fourth one he's done. Let's give us a short tour. Let's see what you got here, Phil. Right. These are the truck batteries. We'll go back here. All right. That's the utility closet. Nice. Water pump. Inverter for 110 power, mm -hmm. water pump. I got 750 amp gel batteries right. that drive all the 12 volt DC stuff in the back. And you were telling us you could be off 
with no power for, for two to three days, and I don't even have to start the engine. Right, and you got it's running the refrigerator, the water pump. The water pump's twelve volt, yeah. Yeah. Refrigerator's one ten, but it runs through the inverter off the batteries. Right. That's I awesome. My laptop off there, the inverter. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you still got shore power that you can hook up to this, which is going to charge. Shore power's on the other side, which charges the truck batteries and these batteries all at the same time. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's take a little tour on the inside, see what you got. I'm intrigued by this thing. I, <laughs> I love when someone does work on their own. This is originally what we thought about doing is yes. getting something like this, a, a conversion van or a box truck or something. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah, boss and doing something like this, and, and we went the quick route, and we got a tiny camper. <laughs> There's a refrigerator in that cabinet right behind you. Oh, uh, we're, I'm 110 trying to find... The fridge is right in here. Oh, okay, perfect. 110 fridge. Nice. Oh, yep, there it is. It's in there if you can see it. Yeah, yeah pull this open. There it is. Nice. Uh, there's cabinets everywhere in this. Um, I want up running water. This is a marine sink because I wanted the extra space. Yeah. I put a butcher block in because I like that. Oh, yeah. 12 volt DC TV mm -hmm. with a DVD. 12 volt sound bar off an ATV. Nice. And you were talking about how these ambulance cabinets are just like All these cabinets high grade. Are in. Yeah. Already. All the woodwork we did and put the vinyl floor in. Right. It looks nice, man. You did a great job in here. You were talking about that bed a little bit? This is a Rec Pro bed. They're not cheap, but it was the best one I saw. Okay. They're 80 inches long, so you can get on it, and the whole thing rolls over right into a bed. Right. And typically, is it just yourself or you traveling with a friend I or only anything? Have one, just me right now. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. The other one, the other three I had, I had a girlfriend at that time. Yeah. Yeah. You got rid of the girlfriend and the other yeah. three. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm you, taking notes here, Phil. Believe me. When you put the shore power on, then you can power up all these other lights. Okay. Uh, because it runs through the inverter. There's actually a diesel generator on this rig in an outside cabinet. Oh, wow. It runs off the diesel. Do you think about doing solar or anything like that? or doing Actually, I saw a guy at a campground at Kaiser State Park. He put solar on his bus, and I he showed me it, and it's like super simple. It's way simpler than what I already did. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been thinking about it. With the gel it. battery setup, you're saying. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, but that's still he nice to have. He didn't spend that much. He put four panels on his bus with the solar controller. He only spent 400 bucks. Right, right. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And you had to do a little bit of engine work to this thing, you said, when you got I did it? quite a bit of maintenance to it. Mm -hmm. I put new tires on it, new brakes across the front. Um... Uh, what else we do? New trailer hitch on it because I pull five to seven thousand pounds with it. Right, and you said this is a heavy load itself, though. Yeah, this truck weighs eleven thousand seven hundred. Right. Uh, I put new glow plugs in, new water pump, new radiator, new hoses, tensor pulleys, all the stuff that goes wrong. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hey, do it once, right, and that way you got it, and then you be on to the fourth one. You know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a seven three diesel. It gets 10 to 11 miles a gallon. That's what it gets, loaded and or unloaded. That's what you can do, you know? This is awesome, man. But the one thing that I'm checking out, yeah, boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Always have some fun at the campground. Hey, thanks, Phil. We appreciate you, man. Thank you. It was yes. a pleasure meeting you. Yes, sir. I, I think this is the most important part of dinner that we've had. Like, Brian made poppers to start. And Barry made popcorn to end. Right. <laughs> Poppers to popcorn. Wow. That's you? That's me. Yeah. I mean, look, at the, look at the wheels, look at the paint. The that black so chrome. Cool. The ghost skulls with the flames. That's BA, all that's, the way. That's nice. That's real nice. I'm getting I don't know whose else. it is, they're probably looking at yeah, us. Yeah, they probably think I'm about to hop on that thing. I may <laughs> hop on that thing. <laughs> Man. All right. One day, one day, baby. One day? One day. One day so, at a time. I first actually got... First you get an e-bike, get your e-bike <laughs> yeah. first. And then you upgrade. Then you upgrade my truck and the camper. <laughs> we had a lot of upgrades to do here. Yeah. <laughs> but wow, um, two days in a row I got him out this here is, hiking. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm not happy about this. It's two o'clock. He is. I know, he wants to leave, okay. but... I want to go. And what's going to happen is we're going to go on this stupid hike. It's hotter than hell. 
and I'm going to be tired as hell. And on he's going to feel good about I'm himself. I'm not going to feel good. I'm going to be. I'm going to feel tired, and you're going to be yelling at me uh -huh. about watching the road and all this. You're wearing me out. This is my drive time energy. <laughs> I'll drive home. Getting sucked right out of me. I'll drive home. You won't drive anywhere. All right, let's do this. All right, here we are, Montgiliad State Park. We're at the uh, map and the literature section of this deal. Is that what this is called? Yeah, it is. Okay. What you got, huh? So, Montgiliad State Park can be traced back to the Ice Age. During this time, many changes happened in the Ohio landscape. Stream, stream systems were altered. To I can't. <laughs> what is that word? I don't even know. I'm not sure. We uh, got we got some other people. You guys are gonna be on YouTube. Glacier. That's what happens when you sneak up on people. Um, the glaciers left Ohio a legacy of valuable natural resources. Do I need to read all that? No. And this is that stupid map and trail that Barry took us on. We walked all of that except this section here, because he got lost. And she didn't say nothing about it. Because mm -hmm, I wanted the, uh, some extra steps. <laughs> yeah. And we walked that this morning, too, around the lake. It was a nice little hike. What else you got? Anything? No. No. Nope. I, I that's it. All right. Time to hit the road. Time to hit the road, Jack. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, end of the trip. Awesome time. Yeah, awesome people. Nice little campground. Awesome um, food. I wasn't done talking. Oh, yeah. But we start off nice campground uh it's not too big um it was very quiet yeah campground. when we got here i was like this is a downer yeah but i think because of the great company that we had it was and this campground awesome. actually did grow on me there are a few nice sites here yeah. that if you can drive through here pick a couple of nice sites you can do some buddy sites um nice place very nice place yeah we liked it we enjoyed it mm -hmm. um like you said great company yeah awesome time hanging out with uh barry and cheryl hashtag barrel yep um, Brian and Michelle cruising with the Coleman's. Yes. Also cocktails with the Coleman's. If you don't follow both of those, mm -hmm. follow them both. And he is a great mixologist. Let me he tell is. you. He is. Thanks for the share bears. Yep. Um, thanks for both of you guys. All, all of Everybody. you guys. Making food yes. and, and just treating us. It was awesome. It was. Hopefully we contributed enough back. I know. I feel bad. Like, yep. <laughs> Um, Mike and Joni, thanks for stopping out, guys. It was good to see you guys. We got to plan a trip together. For sure. Yep. Those who glam together. If you don't follow them, follow those guys yes. as well. We'll have the links below. Mm -hmm. Met a lot of nice people here. The camp host, yes. uh, Jake and, and Cheryl. Cheryl. I'm sure those our guys neighbors. were watching. Yeah, our neighbors were watching. Yes. And yeah, it was, it was um, a good time out here. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Always meet a lot of nice people. You just got to go talk to people. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Be inviting if you're a YouTuber. I mean, but inviting. if not, if that's not your thing either, mm -hmm. you don't have to do that. <laughs> that's right. That's true. You Very know? true. Very true. Um, but yeah, we're off to one of our favorite places we're to camp. Keep it a secret until you it's guys not see a it. Secret. And you guys kind of take a guess on below. Yeah, that's true. Where you think our favorite place is. And again, Should we give this, them a is hint? The, this is no. Where's this that? is that whole debate back to this is the best campground. There no, this is the best. And everything. I've already said Letchworth State Park is absolutely okay. So my that there's favorite. your hint. It's not Letchworth. Yeah. And it's not because um, I've said I think every Rocky camp, Gap. every place we've been to, she said. <laughs> I said Bald Eagle. Yeah. Um. So no, not those. But yeah, we camp there every year. It's kind mm -hmm. of a tradition for us. Mm -hmm. Um. And so take your guesses. <laughs> and you'll see where we end up soon. <laughs> Until next time. Safe travels.